All right, guys, we have the 55th hard request for 2017 up today. And it's a song everybody knows, I think, I'd Like to Teach the World to Sing by The Seekers and made famous, I guess, by that Coke commercial. But here we go. We got melody in the right hand. I'm Sean Cheek and welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. We're about to do the part one lesson here, but all the lessons for this arrangement, which I did myself on the song with the melody in the right hand, are on my website, webpianoteacher.com. Works on all mobile devices, something on there for everyone, even if you are a complete beginner. I have 50 basic lessons. If you don't know anything about music, anything about piano, we'll get you started and then you can work your way up to playing something like this. Well, this is in the key of E, so we're going to have four sharps automatically, and then some occasional accidental sharps and naturals and so forth. So we have F, C, G, and D as our sharps we're going to look out for. And um, just kind of emulating what the guitar is doing there at the beginning. So we're going to start with the left hand on an E, B, E. Now this is sort of a, uh, or is, an advanced lesson. If you're not up to this level, I recommend something easier, something on a, you know, level one or two on my website instead of uh, this. But if you're up to it, let's give it a try. E, B, E, E, B, E, or several times there, okay? The right hand's going to have G sharp. I'm going to use my two finger on that. Then I can do B and E with three and five. So we have one and two. That G natural there, it's just kind of a bluesy thing, da -da, which leads us back into the G sharp on the next measure. So it's one and two and three and four and, let's do it again. And then, da -da, so this is the same sort of thing we did in the first measure. And then the melody starts, and I do the melody the first time here. I've just kind of added a, a left hand piano part to this to kind of preserve the original, make it a little little bluesy, a little fun. <clears throat> so we're going to go, uh, well, we'll do the melody first in the right hand. C sharp. I'll use a fourth finger for me. You don't have to use what I'm using, but just telling you what I'm doing. And then G sharp B with two and three. And then C sharp and then G sharp B with two and five. Some of you may want to use your thumb in there, and that's fine just kind of weird that way. I'm classically trained, so I'll use weird fingering sometimes. All right, so we have right hand. Da, 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 da. So I'd like to teach the world. The left hand is going to continue with the E, B, E, and then I have a little da, da, little G, G sharp thing, little bluesy thing, with three, four, or four, three, and one more E on the thumb at the end. So if I start with the melody note there and slow it down, It's just that, that, that's that swing eighth rhythm. Ba, ba, ba. If you don't play it exactly like me, that's fine, as long as it sounds good and you enjoy it. Let's keep going. Left hand E, B, E, and then the G, G sharp E thing. Again, the right hand will have a C sharp to G sharp E, then one more G sharp E. It's kind of hard to start on that measure. It's kind of weird. So let's start back here and go. On that last G sharp E, I'm going to change to one and three on my right hand. Okay, and then we're going to go on. I kind of like that left hand. So you'll find that the left hand really dictates a lot of times the style of the piece and how hard it is, <laughs> the accompaniment. 
Because if we just did, you know, octaves like we normally do in things, um, which that's fine, it wouldn't be near as satisfying, I don't think, as having that kind of a bass line. So I do all that kind of stuff all through the whole arrangement. But that's good enough for the part one. Why don't we play it again just to make sure we have it from the very beginning over to where we stop there. One, two, ready, go. And then we'll go to the F sharp chord there. <clears throat> All right, hope you guys enjoyed that. And I'll see you on webpianoteacher.com. And I'll take you all the way through it, step by step. Talk to you later.